Bass Fishing, a universal language. This is a series where we take some Chinese anglers to fish in South Africa's finest big bass waters. I think it's time to get hooked up. Right, good morning, welcome to De Whip. It's a Sunday morning, it is the second day of our tour with some Chinese nationals. We've got Lin over here, all the way from China's mainland. And I'm John Bardnos from Wolf Lures and SA Bass Magazine, taking over Smitty Angling TV for the day. Um, we got Ryan over there trying to get ready to uh, catch a bass that's been busting off the edge over here. There, we can actually see the bass has just bust over there again. And of course, yesterday was an absolutely phenomenal day on the water. A little bit tricky in the late afternoon as the wind came in, but weather predictions for today says it's going to be 29 degrees Celsius and it's going to be an absolutely beautiful day. So let's hope we catch some big fish and we will keep you posted and show you the big ones. Nothing really matters if you're not mine right here, right now. And even if the world ends, then I'll be fine. No There we go, first donkey of the day. I actually fished this area uh, just quickly and I was like, ah, oh, I want to talk to Ryan. So I was fishing a Texas rig and I just let it leave it so it goes deep, deep, deep. This was actually the first bite I was like, doo -doo. I felt it. Otherwise, I just saw my line move. Probably caught about five now. I'm not going to put that in the video, it stinks, but this is worth putting in the video. <laughs> All right, guys, so for some of these clips, I'm going to do a little bit of a voiceover to try and explain what was happening because we didn't have proper audio on that boat at the moment. But uh, as you can see, Carl was uh, fishing this little point right in front of him. He pulled into a bay and he's fishing a high percentage area. There's a lot of grass, there's some stumps and it's a main lake point. Um, and about halfway back to the boat, this fish picks it up. Boom, nice side Good. hook set there. Busy playing the fish over here. Boat flipping it there, bam. Nice little solid two pounder. Yeah, our Chinese friend is fishing the same main lake point as Carl and uh, obviously a high percentage area as well boom hook set uh, he catches a little dink boom spits him out <laughs> and uh, it's a quite a funny moment just leave the line like that and check as far as you can did you see like that you see now you know there's a fish there we go fish on oh. This is a good one. Yeah. He wants to wrap me. <laughs> yeah. Decent, decent. Got your rod, bro. Yes, sir. <laughs> there we go. I was actually just explaining the leave your line in the water and check your line, and this dog picked it up. I'm very surprised he didn't wrap me because there's a lot of trees here. And that's probably about a 2 kg, 2.2. And uh, I don't know what's wrong with his gill, but this looks like it broke. I didn't hook him there, <laughs> I promise. But uh, that doesn't look too nice. I'm gonna release this bad boy now. All right guys, so just a little midday update. I actually did my whole midday update and I was like, I didn't press the record button on my audio. So the audio was like, you know, windy. Me and I'm Carl, we're actually on his boat right now. We got off the water about 10 o'clock ate breakfast and I'm actually so privileged to fish with the Chinese anglers themselves. There's been some good fish that came out, a, a few two kgs. Give a thumbs up for good luck and enjoy the rest of the video. Nothing really matters If you're not mine Right here, right now And even if the world ends Then I'll be fine No fear, no doubt I know a place that sneak away
Nice one. Yo! <laughs> big dog, big dog, big dog, big dog. <laughs> A mate from China has got himself a fight, yeah. <laughs> Yo 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 yo. <laughs> yes. Oh. Yes. Yeah. He's got himself oh. in. <laughs> there we go. Big one. Big one. <laughs> nice. Thank you. <laughs> so that was actually her first South African bass. So thumbs up for that. <laughs> In this clip we got Mr. Wang. Um, he's fishing a chatterbait, a white white chatterbait with a swim bait on the as a trailer. And he was fishing it at a, a grass patch. And boom, he picks up the fish there about halfway back to the boat as well. So it obviously saw it and chased it out a bit. Perfect conditions as it's quite windy, so it gives that blade a nice little bit of more of a flash and makes it very visible in the water for the fish. He's quite happy about his catch, showing the chatterbait, and uh, yeah, probably about a three pounder. On, I don't know. Yes, dude. Hook again, hook again. The drag it in. Yo, that's a monster. Yes, this is a big. Yo, <laughs> this is a nice one, Kyle. Wow, fatty, look at that. On the swim bait, this is actually the, the angler from China's swim bait. So this buddy leaked massive eh, from that vibe. I also thought it was a lot bigger. <laughs> she's on with a nice one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. she's on with a nice one. Yeah. Ew, that's a nice one. Oh, peeling drag, proper. Push your leg, push your leg. <laughs> My wife! <laughs> <laughs> That's a nice fish. Ooh. Yeah! 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 Oh. That's a big fish. Big fish! Well done. There we go. Yes, what a monster. <laughs> <laughs> Nicely done. Thanks, guys. <laughs> yes. It's a slab, eh? <laughs> Woo! <laughs> yes, he choked it. Woo! That's a bad stump. Choked the swim bait. Look at that. Gone. Gone, gone, gone. <laughs> I'm going to use this clip to tell you guys a little bit more about these two anglers. So, they're a married couple all the way from China. Um, they're part of the Guns and Roses Club which consists of about 60 members and the goal was to come to South Africa to fish our waters and to break their PBs. So in China they actually measure the fish in length not in weight and Mr. Wang his PB was about 55 centimeters and Ying's PB was between 30 and 40 centimeters if I'm right and um, their fish are skinny and long not short and stumpy like ours. Ours are quite short and stumpy and um, they actually both broke their PBs in this tour so stay tuned for those parts coming soon. Uh, communication was quite something interesting. They had a translator come with for the first part of the tour. And the second part of the tour we used Google Translate. But they understood a few basic words like thank you, big one, stuck, you know, basic English words. But it was very interesting fishing with someone on a boat that doesn't speak your language. But bass fishing is really a universal language. And uh, I enjoyed it so much fishing with these two anglers something incredible all right guys i know i'm very orange but that is the end of today's video i hope you guys have enjoyed we have enjoyed it a ton i'm looking very orange with the sunset um we caught some proper fish uh, no dogs dogs but still some very solid fish so we'll be very happy um so hopefully tomorrow is another day on the water and it goes well uh but today the, the wind is pumping quite a bit 
So I hopped onto Carl's boat and I was like, I'm just gonna get a little bit of footage and then ended up fishing and it was an awesome session. So uh, yeah, I'll see you guys in the next video and peace out. Nothing really matters If you're not mine right here, right now